Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon, bringing you guys a quick little 10 minute reading. So this one is going to be Twin Flame Unfinished Business. This is going to really be geared for the Divine Feminine and the connection. So what is the unfinished business that you have with your Divine Masculine? These beautiful nudes are created by my friend Michelle from Wingham Bell. This is the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Nude Set. So I'll put her information down below. As far as the decks that I'm using, I'll let you guys know what they, I'm using as I pick through each deck. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Let's see, what is this unfinished business using my Twin Flame Journey Oracle? What is this unfinished business? Okay, well, we have new direction. Unfinished business to go into a new direction. We have big dreams. Maybe somebody chasing a big dream. And we have solitude. Interesting. So I feel that right now, perhaps in this connection, someone is, is in a state of solitude. So maybe one twin flame is, um, you know, in a state of wanting to be alone, chasing a big dream. And this is perhaps... Um, uh, come on, Jax. Sorry, guys. This is preventing the connection to go into a new direction. Maybe certain circumstances are taking place that are not allowing us to go into a new direction because there's something on our own that we need to tend to. So sometimes divine timing can play a role. Sometimes lessons in these connections can, um, you know, supersede coming back together in union because there's something that we need to do on our own. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more about what that could possibly be. This is the Sacred Healing Journey Cards by Angelic Revelation 144. We have in love and romance. Your partner wants to romance you and show you their love. So I feel like somebody does want to love and romance here, but the problem is, is that there's something that has not been um, obtained yet. There's a lesson. There is some sort of ascension, some sort of mission perhaps that has not been completed yet. So unfortunately, this love and romance and union is not able to take place just yet. So there's something unfinished. Here we have musical messages, love songs. So it's kind of like, what you're left with at this point is just messages, messages from your person's, your twin flame's higher self, messages of their heart, things that you hear through lyrics, songs, things like that. Maybe things that you hear in your, um, you know, in your mind. So it's kind of like this connection is not happening in 3D. It's more or less happening in a 5D, maybe in your dreams, kind of an energy. So things are not taking place and going forth in a new direction in the 3D world because something has not yet been completed. Let's get a little bit more on this. This right here is the Flaming Roses Tarot by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Mm, you see, somebody has not walked away from something yet. Eight of Cups reversed, okay? So Eight of Cups usually indicates that someone has walked away. They have walked away. They're evolving. But some, something has not happened yet. Someone has not been able to maybe close up an old chapter or um, open up a new door just yet. So there's some work that's still being done somebody's dream or someone's ascension or evolution is taking a little bit longer. And so this is the holdup of this connection. That's what's unfinished evolution. Something has not evolved quite yet to come back together in this physical union. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and get some messages from the masculine to the feminine. Oh, this right here is the what he didn't say by rising sun oracle. I am sending you loving thoughts. See, look at this. So it's kind of like, I'm sending you loving thoughts. So this isn't necessarily somebody who is bringing forth communication. So I did pick that up early on. There's not a lot of 3D activity. It's more 5D. I hope you can feel my heart and its desire for you. I want to cover you in kisses. So there's definitely a love and romance here. There's that feeling here between two people. Somebody is sending their love, but... Someone is not done. Somebody has not let something go. Somebody, somebody is not um, available or has not evolved quite yet to a point to where they can come together. So let's go ahead and get um, a message from the Twin Flame Current Vibes by Sister Moon Tarot. I wish I could heal you the way you healed me. You healed me. So somebody has healed and the other person... It's like they're still evolving. They still haven't healed just yet. So something is holding the connection up. That's what's unfinished. Healing. Evolution. Okay? That is the deal. So let's go ahead and get where the masculine is at versus the feminine. Where is the masculine at at this present time? Let's go into my Depths of Sea Oracle. Okay, low tide. Low tide magnetic pole. 
So what I'm getting here is that the masculine might kind of be in that low tide energy, maybe low vibration, low frequency, but he's still feeling magnetically pulled to do something, to carry on something. I do feel like this masculine is being called to, um, to mission, called to his sole purpose, called to complete something on his journey. Okay, that's what I'm getting from that. Where else is he? This right here is Do the Damn Thing by my assistant, Victoria. See, I'm passionate. So this masculine is passionate and feels magnetically pulled towards his purpose. I feel like this masculine has not completed his purpose. And this is what the holdup is on the connection. Now, of course, the feminine could also have something going on too. Let's go ahead and go into my Divine Feminine Healing cards. Enlightenment. Well, love this. I understand why I chose to learn this way. This feminine is very aware and very enlightened to the fact that her and her masculine are not coming together right now for a reason. They, they chose to be in this separation. They chose to be in this way at this present time. It's actually helping to lead them both towards enlightenment, towards whole, um, healing, something like that. Okay. That's beautiful. So um, what is the purpose here? What is the purpose of this separation? Let's go into my twin flame angel numbers. Your angels say to wait and buy time for better results. See, again, the angels right here are saying there's a purpose for this waiting. There's a purpose for this divine timing of not coming together. Certain things need to complete. Certain things need to change. Fives, tens, do you see that? So someone has not completed a cycle and someone still has to go through certain changes for evolutionary purposes. Someone still needs to heal, okay? So that is the situation. Let's go ahead and get some messages from the um, feminine to the masculine, okay? So what does the feminine want the masculine to know at this present time? This is my twin flame journey messages number two. Yeah. Despite our separation, despite all of this, you still hold a piece of my heart and always will. So that's what she wants him to know, is that I will continue to hold you in my heart space. I will continue to move forward with my purpose and do what I need to do, do what I came here to do, but that is something that I need to do for myself. So what other energy is the feminine in besides enlightenment? Yeah, look at this. I am enough. She is learning how to be enough on her own. She is learning how to love herself. She is learning how to basically be complete on her own journey, that she doesn't necessarily need this masculine to complete her. So she is healing this as well. Maybe she is stepping into her independence. Maybe she is stepping into her power. But whatever this is, this is helping her to feel more whole on her journey, which is beautiful. Wow. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get a closing message that the masculine has for the feminine. What is the most important thing that he wants her to know at this present time? Okay. He wants her to know that he's a lone wolf and he is walking his path alone. Now, even if there are other people or other parties involved in his life, he is definitely in this energy of trying to be the lone wolf, trying to find his own way. Okay. Make a wish, it will come true. Beautiful. It's kind of like he's wishing upon a star right now. He's wishing for a different life. He's wishing for a different experience, okay? And of course, that wish could be connected to the feminine, for sure. What else? Yeah, look at that. I'm telling you, right when I got that, this I'm wishing upon a star in a way, and it's connected to the divine feminine. So he's wishing for something He's hopeful for something, but right now he's walking alone and that's just where he needs to be at this present time. See, I am a lone wolf. I'm still trying to find myself. I'm still trying to find my dream, catch my big dream, reach my big goal, find myself, etc. Definitely. And that is the devil's energy. Look at that, but it came up in reverse, which means that he is trying to release what no longer serves him. He is trying to heal. He is trying to clear. So there's a reason that this masculine and feminine are not together right now. This feminine seems to know this. She's very much in her power and she's very much allowing her masculine to find his way to himself while she is finding her way back to herself as well. So this is beautiful. So this is something about divine timing. They both realize that the timing is not correct perhaps to come together, but they are both up to the task of finding themselves and living out their mission and purpose while they are in separation. But they are definitely not in separation energetically. They're very much in this 5D communication. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.